Hi everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we're going to take a look at how to find and group duplicate information. And the information we are looking at is a contact database. So when I'm looking at my list of 15 contacts, I notice that some of these are duplicates. I see a few of them that have the same address and I wonder how many duplicates do I really have. My goal is to group all the duplicates together and be able to pull them out in one shot. And by following these 12 steps, we will be able to accomplish that. So let's begin. Our first step is to identify the variable that we are going to search by. In this example, we are going to be looking at the street address. You can do this by any variable that you like, but in this case I'm going to do it by street address because I assume if the street address is the same, chances are the whole record is a duplicate. So that's what I want to eliminate from my contact database. Okay, so my second step is to use the sort and filter command to sort the variable that we will be working with. And I can do that by right clicking anywhere in this column. I'm going to right click, choose filter, or choose sort, and then sort A to Z. Now what that did was it grouped all of my duplicates together. And I could stop there and pull them out on their own. However, I actually want to be able to group them all together because I don't want to have to go picking through, especially if I've got thousands of items listed here. It will be so much easier to have them in one, one group. So we will continue with the remaining steps. Now our, set, our third step will be to insert a column. I'm going to bring that, I'm going to insert that column right before A, and I'm going to do that by right clicking on A and hitting insert. And what that does is opens up another column for me. I'm going to name that column du dupe or duplicate and even bold it so it looks like the others. And this is where I'm going to enter my formula. So now I'm on to step four. At the top of the column, enter the formula. And today's formula is going to be using the if function. I will begin by clicking on equals and entering if. E2 equals E1. If that is true, bring me back a 1. If it is false, bring me back a 0. And close my parentheses and hit enter. So what that did, let's take a look at that formula. I'm going to click on this cell and I will see that formula listed right here. Equals if E2 the contents of E2 is equal to the contents of E1, then bring me back a 1. If it is not true, bring me back a 0. So basically, if it is a duplicate, bring back a 1. Show or display a 1. If it is not a duplicate, show or display a 0. And because E2 is not equal to E1, it brought back a 0 which we expected. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this formula down. I'm going to copy this formula down to the rest of these rows. To do that, I'm going to place my cursor or my mouse pointer directly on this heavy black square in the lower right corner. Notice how it turned into a skinny black cross. When it did that, I'm going to hold down the left button of my mouse and drag it all the way down. And notice we see a bunch of zeros and ones. I am going to go ahead and click outside. Now, from here, we could go ahead and just pick out all of the ones. And that would be easy enough. But there's actually a better way to go ahead and get all of those ones grouped together. So we're going to continue our steps. So we are now down at 7. I'm going to insert another column. So I'll bring my cursor over to B, hit the right click and insert. What I will do is I'm going to select these results. I'm going to copy them so I'm going to right click and choose copy. I'm going to place these values and the values only 
in this column. And I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm going to right click and instead of using paste, I'm going to use paste special. Paste special allows me to choose only what I want to see. I don't have to um, bring over the formulas or um, bring over everything including the formulas, the values, the formats, etc. I can choose just one of the um, the components of that those cells that I want to copy. And I'm going to just paste the values. I just want the numbers only. We'll go ahead and click OK. So notice here when I click on A5 there is a formula behind it as well as the result. When I click on B5, because I only pasted the values, it just has the result. And that's exactly what I wanted. All right, so now I'm on to number 10, delete the column that contained the original formula. So that's, that's A. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and call that dupe as well. All right, so what I will do now is I'm going to sort all of my columns here. Right click, sort, and smallest to largest, and this is what we have. The last four, 13 through 16, all of these are duplicates, and I can go ahead and get rid of them. And be very confident that I'm not getting rid of something that I don't want to get rid of. So I hope that was helpful, and remember you can go through this video as many times as you like. And of course, here are the instructions. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great night.